Hello everyone, we are from Group 1 and we will be presenting our group project which is Kinetic Energy Pavement. Here are the group members which are Marcia, Farisa, Shirley, Caitlin, Rafif, and myself, Nadisa. In this presentation, we are going to be discussing the problem of concepts, design methodology, design discussion, and last collection and suggestion. Problem and concept. In Indonesia, the regular electricity consumption has amounted to 1,444.70 per kilowatt. Despite its effectiveness, utilizing fossil fuels and burning coal to generate electricity is highly destructive to environmental and human health as it contributes to the production of carbon emission as well. In this literature studies, we will be discussing a bit about electricity, non-renewable energy, is surrounding fossil fuel and usage. Electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. It is both a basic part of nature and one of the most widely used forms of energy. Meanwhile, the non renewable energy comes from sources that will run out or will not be replenished in our lifetimes or even in many, many lifetimes. The examples are such as oil, coal, and natural gas. And lastly, the issues surrounding fossil fuel usage, when they are burned, they release the large amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the air. These greenhouse gases drop heat in our atmosphere, causing global warming. For problem formulation, we have made a flowchart, as you can see on the right side of the screen, as we seek to propose a solution that mitigates carbon emission due to fossil fuel burning. We focus on steps that can directly encourage people to stop at least some of their daily activities that contribute heavily to carbon emission, example driving, charging devices using non-renewable energy power sources. Moving on to the flowchart on the right side of the screen, the first step is prol proliferation of carbon emission generation due to fossil fuel burning, followed by carbon emission is getting more harmful than ever due to the large amount of it be being generated. This leads to alternative renewable energy is recommended to alter the usage of fossil fuel. Thus, kinetic energy will be beneficial for both the society and the environment as it will impede the detrimental impact of burning fossil fuels. The fourth step is the design thinking methodology is established to visualize the design. And last but not least, the kinetic energy pavement is made. For our initial design concept is we actually were inspired by a company based in the UK for uh, for the slabs and then how it works is basically when people step on the surface the generator unit will then create uh, electricity because it is pressed uh, and as we can see here we actually made some changes into the original model uh, for example we chose to use a piezoelectric uh, generator and then as we can see also here uh, the moving mass is the people who step on it and then the damper, the spring, and the piezoelectric transducer will then be pressed and then uh, create uh, electricity. And the so for our design methodology is basically how as people walk on the tiles, their falls will slightly depress the plates and it will cause the generators to generate energy. And then the, gen the energy will be stored in batteries and, that, and can then be used to power street lights, uh, alarms, speakers, and many more. And the system requires no effort at all on, on the part of the people who actually use it because uh, then again, walking is such a basic activity, a normal activity that people do all the time. And then the material we chose is a 95% recycled material such as rubber and some marine grade stainless steel. And also it is water, waterproof so it can withstand outdoor conditions. Uh, uh, so basically, to put it simply, uh, the tiles have some sort of flywheels beneath them with, uh, that spins when walked on, uh, uh, which generates producing about uh, 8 watts per footstep. And then they also have generators in every corner of the tiles, allowing them to produce energy in every part of the shape. We have incorporated um, four design criteria into making this kinetic energy pavement. The first one being affordable selling price and manufacturing costs. The second one being can withstand severe weather. The third one does not disturb the ecosystem. And the fourth one is user-friendly and or autonomous. Stations or just any general public transportation. Um, this is obviously done to both attract more regular pedestrians as well as becoming an initiative to encourage people to walk more often. 
So um, coupled with nearby public transport, we hope to also pique the public's interest to be able to pick more eco-friendly options for their daily activities. And obviously this is also in support of the government's recent initiatives to encourage people to use public transportation a lot more often. So as I've said before, the following figure depicts Central Jakarta's public MRT, bus, and Trans Jakarta connection lines. They're all integrated in one map. And the red crosses indicate several possible places where we can place our design. To strategically place the kinetic energy pavements, the following criteria are going to be considered. Firstly, it must be placed within the vicinity or within a 15 meter radius uh, next to existing public transportation modes. And secondly, it must also be within a 100 meter radius from important landmarks. As we can see here, um, it would probably be like Monas or Bundaran Hai. And thirdly, there must also be sufficient sidewalk pavement area. So it me means that um, there has to be at least three meters, it has to be at least three meters wide in order to accommodate the smallest possible design width that we have came up with. And number four, it must also be located in frequently visited areas, so more than 200 people per day. This is because we obviously want to optimize the number of footsteps that we get uh, in a day. And lastly, uh, the land or road gradient can't be, um, it can't be too steep. It has to be roughly 3.3%, and it's in accordance to a research that has been done by West in 2021. The three alternative designs that we came up with is first is the electromagnetic generator pavement in which this works um, kind of differently than our very own kinetic energy pavement um, in which it utilizes the principles of electromagnetism instead um, where our kinetic energy pavement uses the piezoelectric ones and the difference relies mostly on the transducer and the fact that the electromagnetic generator is connected into a series circuit rather than a parallel one, and thus it can be represented as a voltage source. And the second alternative is the kinetic pavement of four roadways. So basically it works similarly as our very own kinetic energy pavement. However, um, instead of pavement where pedestrians can walk in, it is placed under roadways. So in that way, the sensor is placed um, below the top layer of the road, which detects the traffic loading as a stress or a strain. And lastly is kinetic pavement for exercise. This also works um, similarly as our own kinetic energy pavement. However, the purpose is also solely different as the main utiliz utilization point is not for pedestrians to walk on. Instead, it can be placed um, where people can do their exercises in, for instance, in basketball courts, running tracks, or even in children's playground. And hence, within this uh, three alternatives that we came up with, um, we have calculated all aspects through the weighing alternatives in which it, it includes the aspect of economical, technical, durability, effectivity, materials, and also environmental, in which when um, the total points of all given criteria are accumulated, it can be seen that the kinetic energy pavement has the highest point. And therefore, um, we decided to choose our initial design as our final ones. For the next section, we have design and discussion. The first part being final design concept, the second visualization, the third materials, and the fourth cost estimation. The final design consists of a force anchoring plate in order for the tile to be firmly anchored to the ground, preventing misplacement and to minimize damages caused by frequent usage. Anchors are also installed several feet, minimum 4 feet, below the ground surface to further solidify its positioning. Dust shield is installed on the sides of anchors. Okay, so now um, next we'll be discussing upon uh, the design visualization. Um, in which here uh, on the picture on the left, it can be seen the final concept of the kinetic energy pavement, which is composed of all the tiles when connected. And hence, um, this works by when someone's stepping on the tiles, then um, the piezo sensor will detect the movement and then it will generate the light or the electricity itself. And here there are several views of the design itself. So here, as we can see in the top view, it consists of the top sheet and also the 95% recycled rubber panel as the very top covering layer. And next is here in the bottom view, um, it is composed of the core electrode spring in which it eases the movement of the panels. And lastly, here on the side view, it can be seen that the little square here on the middle is the piezoelectric sensor, and therefore it is connected by wires to the piezoelectric sensor, in which is also attached to the spring. And lastly, um, here we also created a poster in which um, it is composed of um, 
few things. So firstly, um, it is based on the problems that we are currently facing, which is um, the mass electric city consumption. And the next is also um, why should we shift to energy har harvesting and then followed by why is it more sustainable? And then um, the plus point being more cost effective. And then lastly here, we also attach some pictures of the visualization of the kinetic energy pavement, including um, the cost calculation and also the pinpoints of all things that is needed. Okay, so here are the following benefits and drawbacks of our kinetic energy pavement. So the first benefit is that it obviously reduces the need for fossil fuel energy and carbon emission from um, excessive transportation use. And it also produces an output of sustainable electricity, which hopefully increases the citizens' willingness to contribute to a greener lifestyle by walking more often. And um, obviously, as we have selected the materials carefully, um, we hope to be able to produce the most effective design alternative. And our kinetic energy pavement also provides a more valuable use of sidewalks as it also produces energy for the surrounding structures. However, um, there are obviously a lot of drawbacks too. And the first one is because the structure is static, the design placement must be very carefully considered in order to avoid unnecessary works in implementing the design. Or for example, if we face uh, certain problems in the future, like having to move it, um, then uh, it's something that we have to take care of before implementing it. And secondly, uh, depending on the area, maintenance costs may vary a lot uh, as the user's upkeep of the design cannot be estimated just yet. So we do have to rely a lot on the users to be able to maintain um, the design and so that it won't be broken easily. And thirdly, it's quite expensive um, in terms of like cost per square meter. And the design also needs further testing in order to ensure good effectivity under different circumstances, such as when it has to, um, when it has to be used oh, during some bad weather and things like that. Okay, and now the, for the material and cost breakdown, uh, keep in mind that for every breakdown, we will analyze the materials and costs needed to create a kinetic energy pavement system with the following dimensions of four by six meters. So for the required materials, we need a piezoelectric sensor, um, piezoelectric generator, 95% recycled rubber panel, and the top sheet, force anchoring plate, core electro spring, sodium ion battery, dust shield, and the insulating aluminum blanket. And so the uses of each uh, required material can be seen uh, and it has already been discussed in the previous section. So um, yeah, and uh, we also in, decided to use sodium ion battery instead of like the regular lithium ion batteries. And this because um, it's chosen because it's a highly viable alternative to the current lithium ion batteries, which is actually most prevalent at the moment. So although this technology is not as widely distribute, distributed as lithium ion batteries, uh, the abundance of sodium ions proves that it is actually a lot easier to access. So therefore, um, less resources are going to be needed to extract and purify the critical, critical components of these batteries. So this is what makes sodium ion batteries far more sustainable than, than lithium ion batteries. And because our kinetic energy pavement system puts heavy emphasis on green energy, we also want to make sure that every aspect included um, provides the greenest alternative uh, possible. As for the uh, cost estimate, uh, here are the following cost estimate with the total prices. And we estimated the grand total prices to be around 122 million rupiah. And this is uh, already including things like construction workers um, and manual ex excavation costs that, that's going to be needed to implement the structure on the ground and also by annual maintenance fees. Uh, okay, so for the cost to benefit analysis, yes, to begin with, a regular pavement in Indonesia is about four to six meters wide, with the uh, regular electricity consumption uh, per area is up to 1,109 kilowatt with uh, 1,444 uh, rupiah per kilowatt, which calculates to one million around 1,600,000 per day. And to balance the cost to benefit of a kinetic pavement, we are making a four four by six meters pavement with eight fifty centimeters tiles wide and 12 50 centimeters tiles long, which uh, then cost one around 120 million rupiah to develop. And I know it sounds quite a lot, but as we are placing the creative pavement in crowded areas such as 
uh, Jalan Braga and Asia Afrika in Bandung or area such as Bundaran HI, Monas, GBK Sports Complex, and Setiabudi in Jakarta. Uh, with every tile, one step on creates about uh, eight watt per step. Uh, assuming about 500 pedestrians walking with approximately three, step, three, three steps per meter on the pavement each day, it calculates to around 1,152 kilowatt accumulated in a day. Uh, and if we compare the total, uh, which then uh, is the totals around 1,664,000 1, rupiah to save each day. If we compare the total cost to develop the, the, the whole system to what this design could actually profit, uh, we can actually repay the, the total cost in less than five months. In essence, our kinetic energy pavement is a substantial alternative to attain the need of electricity generation in public spaces. To improve the effectiveness of our design placement, further methods such as multi-criteria analysis can be implemented to determine the most suitable space for development based on more specific criteria. Suggestion. Can make a campaign to make Indonesian more interested and implement a self-reporting system to mitigate people from destroying the system when using it. We have to perform more testing to ensure that the equipment is effective in various situations like bad weather, etc. And here are the main reference of our uh, project. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you everyone for listening and hope everyone's having a great day.